If there's one thing I learned from speaking with farmers and people in agriculture is that crop insurance is a must. Not only can it save family farms from a drought season like last year, but also just create peace of mind. For our community, it's vital. According to the MSU Extension Office, nearly 62% of Montana is farmland. And over the last few years, that farmland has been struggling. Gary Heilig, who oversees seven states of crop insurance claims, says that Montana's numbers last year were shocking. Montana was ranked with the, the highest loss ratio of, of all states. Um, there was $566 million in claims paid out in the state of Montana last year through um, um, through the, the different uh, uh, approved insurance providers. According to Heilig, 90% of eligible U.S. farmland is insured. You know, they paid their premiums in the years where they didn't have losses, and then the, the program worked very well for them uh, in the year that they did have, it, have claims. So it's, it's doing what it was intended to do. For fourth generation farmer Nate Asham, crop insurance has been a heaven sent for his community. With, with the way the weather's been the last few years, I think a lot of guys would have been either up against it or have had to fold the tents probably in the, um, without the insurance. His community of Sunburst is primarily an agricultural community, so the impact of last year's historic drought was felt by everyone. We have about 300 crop insurance policies or 300 different farmers, and basically all but maybe four or five of those paid out last year, so that's how extreme it was. And so just through this agency, we were looking at somewhere in the ballpark of like $16 million of payments that flooded back into our economy, right? That wouldn't have been here. Asham's community is much like many other communities across Montana, rich in ag and protected by insurance. You lose generational farms, you lose a community, you lose everything if you don't have that protection. I think in Sunburst, Lindsay Stinger, MTN News.